Dead Bear Brewing Company in Grayling has been able to make the necessary adjustments to keep their beer flowing and doors open through the pandemic. Photojournalist Jeremy Erickson and I take you there in this week's Brewvine as they get ready to celebrate a major milestone. We've made a lot of changes over the last year, uh, contingency after contingency. Being able to come inside um, has really been beneficial and people are really liking it. People are uh, enjoying, uh, you know, regaining those freedoms. It's also good for our sanity as well, you know. <laughs> Some of those COVID contingencies led to physical changes at the brewery like removing some of the tables inside and opening up their patio in more ways than one. We've done a lot of cool things. My wife and father-in-law decided to blow out a wall on the patio when, uh, when the outdoor restrictions were going on. So they, uh, they took care of that, got us open on enough sides to be open out there. We started doing that. That really turned business around. They've also gotten back to the basics when it comes to their beer menu, focusing their attention on some of their most popular dead bear brews. We'll always keep those four mainstays. They are what they are because, for one thing, the, cu the customers want them, you know, the, especially the Hefeweizen and the Amber Ale. Um, the customers really, really ask for those. Um, the Sugar Bear has always been a cult for favorite that I typically did every winter, and I just, we got so much demand for it. It was like, you know what, we're going we're gonna to stick with this right here. And then uh, the Maple Bacon Porter is just a really fun beer. Dead Bear will have a couple taps that will rotate their IPAs, stouts, and one-offs, like a special beer they're working on now to celebrate their 300th batch. We're getting uh, Rabbit Hole Cave Hill bourbon barrels. We're going to fill those with a double brown ale that we're going to do. Um, we're going to call it Unbirthday Brown, um, since the rabbit hole, you know, kind of alludes to uh, uh, Alice in Wonderland, and then we'll probably have that within one to three months of aging. It'll be a fun beer that we're going to do. We'll have our barrels probably hanging out in the lobby of the restaurant. For Brewvine and Grayling, I'm Whitney Amen.